Hello students this is Saurabh Mohrikar welcome to this video series of SQL and uh, before we begin with SQL we need to understand certain terms like database database management system what are relational database management system and where does SQL fits in all these so that's the effort we are going to see in this particular video series now before we start with this the most fundamental part over here of all these database database management system rdbms sql no sql what not is nothing but data and uh, we need to understand that fundamental thing very clearly what do you mean by data right and a lot of people are under the impression that the data data is nothing but numeric data like your age weight height which is so not true so let's try and understand what is the meaning of a data now data as the name goes is nothing but information about something anything which gives me information about something below the surface right i mean something i i can see your face and i can figure out whether you're happy or not right so that probably is not information but if i have a uh, records of what you did yesterday when it comes to professional work that is called information so anything which gives me information about something is called as data and that is why data is in many formats the first one being numeric the second one textual third one image and the fourth one video let's see them one by one now if i look at numeric data and let's let me take a sample data set over here the sample data set consists of student id first name last name credits completed and gpa now if you look at this these two columns credit completed and gpa we can see that all the entries over here in these columns are nothing but numbers and hence this is nothing but numeric data type all the both the kinds of numeric data types are different right credits completed majorly seems to be integral data and gpa seems to be float which is decimal now if i move further and see and and then ask what is textual data then then in that case we need to consider the first two columns in fact the second and the third column which consists of the first name and the last name anything which is in the text format in the symbolic format it contains alphabets words what not right anything which is not numbers in a way i can say is nothing but textual data over here just like your first name and last name the third type is images yes they are also a very good type of data and uh, if you are under the impression that what is the kind of information images are going to give me i mean you are thoroughly wrong over here right a lot of information can be taken out from images there are good programs which takes a lot of information from images for example if you look at the image of the map that i put in over here the map talks about the distance between sydney and canberra but a lot of information can be derived for example what are the different ways of reaching from sydney to canberra what are the various cities which are along the coastline of sydney which other city is closest to canberra apart from sydney right a lot of information can be derived only from this particular image and people are doing it so the next type is of course your videos just like images videos also contain a lot of information especially the images and the videos which are uploaded on social media contains a lot of information and of course which is freely and willingly given we are talking about those videos and images and uh, it does provide a lot of food for thought for analysis and that's when we can you know harness the power of imagery and videos as well using data analytics right so this is data guys this is uh, what data means there are other types of data as well we'll move on to those types as we go on as we progress further in this particular series but right now these are the four major types in which right now the business world is standing upon and they need solutions for